Enlovex Therapeutics, symbol being ENLV on the NASDAQ, is a clinical stage pharmaceutical company with a goal of developing affordable off-the-shelf cell therapies that are a part of what can be called the next generation of cell therapies for difficult to treat life-threatening and life-ending diseases that have no good solutions today. Similar to other biotech companies like Fate Therapeutics and Encarta, Enlovex is building upon the work of first and second generation cell therapy companies to develop a multifaceted approach to fighting cancer, a departure from the standard single factor approach. Enlovex is specifically exploring the use of its macrophage modulating cell therapy Alicetra in sepsis, which is one of the leading causes of mortality in the world and cancer. In some sepsis patients, proper macrophage response to a bacterial infection leads to an easy recovery. In others, the macrophage response may get turned up too high and instigate an overall immune system attack on otherwise healthy organs, leading to organ dysfunction, organ failure, and patient mortality. Enlovex is exploring the use of macrophage modulation to reverse the negative immune attacks leading to organ failures associated with sepsis, a $33 billion target market for the company. The company has completed a successful non-randomized phase 1b trial in which septic patients, each of which had between two to five organ failures, were treated with Alicetra and compared to a matched control group of patients treated with the standard of care. In patients treated with Alicetra, 100% of failed organs returned to normal function and all were released from the hospital versus 27% mortality in matched control patients and an additional 33% who did not die yet still had organ failures on day 28. The company initiated a phase two trial on sepsis and intends to publish top line results from the study in Q3 2023. If the phase two outcomes end up resembling the phase 1B outcomes, the company will seek EU conditional marketing approval, followed by discussions within the FDA to obtain accelerated approval in the US. In addition to sepsis, macrophage modulation has significant prospects in cancer therapy. In preclinical studies of Alicetra across three different aggressive cancers and in combination with three different anti-cancer drugs, the combination treatment outcomes were astonishing. At the American Society of Clinical Oncology 2022 annual meeting, Enlovex announced preclinical data from an ovarian cancer study conducted in collaboration with the Yale Cancer Center, showing a substantial survival benefit when Alicetra was combined with PD-1 checkpoint inhibition, which is considered one of the most effective anti-cancer drugs available, but has low efficacy against ovarian cancer. These phenomenal results added to the company's presentation at the International Society for Cell and Gene Therapy annual meeting in which a similarly profound synergistic effect was observed in mice with a different cancer, mesothelioma, one of the deadliest forms of cancer, and in combination with an anti-CTLA-4 drug. While approved by the FDA, the anti-CTLA-4 drug has low efficacy as a standalone therapy. In contrast, results of Enlovex's preclinical study showed that combining the two agents led up to 100% survival versus 25 to 28.5% survival when mice were treated with either agent alone. To go a bit deeper into the science that powers Enlovex and Alicetra, macrophages are immune cells that can be thought of as a sort of volume control knob of the immune system. According to Cancer.gov, macrophages work by surrounding and killing microorganisms, removing dead cells, and stimulating the action of other important immune system cells. With Alicetra, Enlovex is able to modulate macrophage responses. In sepsis, Alicetra is intended to rebalance the immune system when macrophages appear to have an exaggerated response to the presence of a pathogen. In the oncology vertical, Enlovex is exploring what takes place when macrophages are non-responsive in the solid tumor microenvironment. As part of their survival mechanism, solid tumor cells recruit and enslave macrophages, which in turn form a protective layer, isolating the tumor from the host's immune system, as well as anti-cancer treatments. The potential reprogramming of these pro-tumor macrophages back into anti-tumor macrophages could allow anti-cancer drugs to kill these tumor cells much more effectively. The global market size for this indication is $4 billion, and Enlovex already initiated its first-ever clinical trial on patients with advanced solid tumors in combination with chemotherapy and plans to initiate an additional Phase 1-2 trial later this year in a similar patient population, yet this time in combination with anti-PD-1. Enlovex hopes to further develop its pipeline to reprogram and reset co-opted macrophages and restore them to their original use. The Enlovex leadership team has a stellar track record as well. Shai Novik, its executive chairman, founded Prolor Biotech in 2005 and sold it to Opco Health in 2013 in a $560 million transaction. He also executed a mega strategic partnership with Pfizer for Prolor's lead drug product, a long-acting growth hormone named Engenla, for the treatment of children with growth hormone deficiency. And Engenla recently received marketing approvals worldwide, including in Australia, Canada, Japan, and Europe. The company's recently appointed vice chairman, Dr. Roger Pomerantz, was previously head of infectious diseases at Johnson & Johnson and head of business development at one of the world's largest drug companies, Merck, where he executed more than 150 business development deals. He then joined flagship pioneering one of the world's leading life sciences investment funds, which founded Moderna and many other successful companies. CEO Oren Hershkovitz was vice president of R&D at Prolor Biotech and instrumental in assisting Pfizer with its phase threes of Engenla. 
To stay updated on Enlevex's progress, visit enlevex.com to sign up for their mailing list and learn more about the company.